everyone and welcome to my video. This week marks my first anniversary on YouTube, my one year anniversary. So I got myself dressed up in one of my posh frocks and I did my hair in sort of princessy hairstyle and I thought that we could sit together and have a nice glass of wine and a chat um, about my first year um, here on YouTube, how I found it, what I've learned and um, basically what my experiences have been um, over the past 12 months. Um, now, I'm all dressed up in my fancy frock. So I think that you should go dress up in your fancy frock too. Um, so put me on pause. And um, I'll wait here. So uh, you press pause, I'll wait here. And um, count back when you dress. Um, anyway, yes, um, first things first, I must apologise for the lighting in this video, I don't think it's going to be particularly good and I will do my best to even it out um, in the editing. There are five, six light bulbs above me and two of them are gone, so we're working on uh, four light bulbs, all of which are over this side, so if I'm looking a bit shadowy to this side, that's why. Um, that's something I've learned from making my YouTube videos. Um, I started out by filming with um, a handheld camera. It's a Canon camera and it's great for taking pictures. Um, and the lighting was not bad, to be honest. Um, in fact, the lighting might be slightly better than the lighting on my current video camera because um, it doesn't pick up the dark tones so much so I don't tend to just disappear into the background um, which is good um, but the quality of the camera um, and the lighting that you have is important especially when you're doing hairstyling tutorials uh, because you've got to be able to show your, um, your viewer what you're doing otherwise they can't copy you um, I joined the YouTube um, community because I've been watching videos by um, a couple of people in particular, three people in particular. Um, those people are Torin Page, La Dolly Vita 33, and um, Liopsi. I'm not sure how you pronounce her name, sorry, her, her name's actually Lucy. Um, and um, I think all these girls do absolutely fantastic hair tutorials but they all had hair that was slightly different to me um, longer, thicker, shorter, darker, not the same texture um, but I thought if these girls can do it then I don't see why I can't do it too and um, that drew me into joining uh, YouTube and, and, and finding the long hair community, the LHC, um, which has brought me into contact with a lot of women who feel the same way that I do when it comes to long hair. And I've sort of found that on average, when you get past a certain age, um, and it depends on your community and your background, um, but certainly when you sort of get past 12, 13, perhaps, um, it is considered inappropriate to continue to have long hair. Um, I don't think anyone actually said that to me specifically, but it's sort of the vibe I got um, was that, yeah, long hair um, was childish and should be left with your childhood years. And it's, it's a fair enough opinion to have. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. So finding the long hair community and being able to talk to people who are like-minded has been one of the best things that's happened to me in the past 12 months. And that's thanks to YouTube. I really started um, to really look into growing out my hair last year and looking after it properly and making sure that if I was going to get it long, 
I would get it long in as good a condition as it could be. Um, in the past I haven't really taken care of my hair. I've, um, I've dyed it and I've chopped it into layers and I've backcombed it and sprayed it and put it in curling irons and all sorts of things. So I've been pretty mean to my hair in all. Um, and when I found the long hair community I learned that there were things that you can do to your hair um, to make it look beautiful um, without coating it in chemicals um, and without using um, curling irons and straightening irons and all sorts of things like that. Um, one of the things that most annoys me about videos done by professional hairstylists on YouTube is that they plug their product like mad. If you want to do a nice bun, you have to put your hair up into a ponytail and then you have to coat your ponytail in this product. And it's not true. Um, I know it's advertising um, and I know that's the point, um, but it just strikes me as unnecessary. I don't want to be here to advertise products to you, um, to try and make you buy stuff that you don't want or don't need. Um, if I were going to try and make you buy anything, it would be books. I love books. I sell books for a living and I do that because of how much I love books. I love reading and I love introducing something to someone and then having that them come back to me and tell me how much they loved it too. So I decided that I was going to be a YouTuber who worked out styles that could be done by yourself on your own long hair. And it's been a learning experience for me. In the past 12 months I've learned how to French braid and Dutch braid. I couldn't do that a year ago, I can do it now. And I've learned how to do that through watching um, the three YouTubers I mentioned earlier and um, and many others across YouTube and it's enabled me to do so much more with my hair than I thought I ever this would do. This year I am thinking of starting a blog called No Excuse for a Boring Ponytail which will be um, a collection of um, pictures of hairstyles that I wear every day and um, just charting the number of hairstyles that can be done when you've got long hair because in my opinion there is no excuse to go out with a boring ponytail if you're rushed for time by all means stick your hair into a ponytail and then flip the ponytail through to make it a topsy tail to make it just that bit more interesting I found that having access to so many different tutorials and the inspiration and the encouragement to do them myself has meant that I haven't got bored with having long hair and thought, oh, enough of it, I'm going to chop it all off, uh, which is what's happened in the past. Once you know there are lots of things you can do with your hair, then you know that it needn't be dull and it needn't be a chore to look after. Um, I wash my hair twice a week, on average, sometimes once a week. And it's made my hair a lot healthier as a result. At first I felt a bit, uh, I thought it might be a bit icky um, leaving it for so long between washes. But um, the result um, has been lovely hair. What else? Um, coconut oil. Coconut oil I don't apply to my hair as much as I should do. And I don't apply it as much as I tell you that you should do. But when I do apply it, the result is fantastic. My other sort of great discovery came from one of my YouTubers. And um, he told me that one of his long-haired friends uses a beer rinse on her hair. And that it gives glorious shine. And it is absolutely true. Beer rinses are brilliant. They are fantastic and I recommend them to everybody. I don't use hair brushes quite so much and I don't use a comb. Um, instead I've tried to use a tangle teaser as much as possible and when I've had to use a hair brush because I don't have my tangle teaser to hand, I try and use a paddle brush. 
and this has meant that when I did get my hair cut, um, which would have been in April, I think, I had a trim, the hairdresser took less than two inches off the ends of my hair and um, he told me that it was in very good condition and I was very pleased to hear that. The response I've had on YouTube has been fantastic. I've got over 400 subscribers and I, I had no idea that was going to happen. Um, and it's a lovely feeling knowing that people enjoy watching your videos, enjoy hearing you speak and um, I wish more of you would contact me with pictures of styles that I've shown you how to do um, and show me how they work on you because I'm interested to know. Um, but to have 400 people subscribing to my channel is, is wonderful and um, something I never expected to happen, S and certainly not within 12 months. I'm very pleased to say that I haven't had a lot of negative um, experiences with YouTube. Um, I've had the odd comment that has come off as a bit snarky, and I've decided to ignore it and just say everyone has a right to their own opinion. Um, no one is saying anything to me that is abusive or hurtful and um, I hope it will continue to be that way um, so yes feedback from subscribers and viewers um, has certainly been my strangest moment here has been the time I checked out um, my videos to see where they were being shared and i would noticed that the video of mine that had the most hits is one I did very early on and it's where I showed how I washed my hair. Um, I leant over the bath, I washed my hair, conditioned it and dried it. And um, I did that so that the ladies on the long hair community could see how I was washing my hair and could tell me if I was doing something that would be damaging to my I was hair. pretty surprised to see that this video was getting more hits than my other videos because I didn't think it was a subject that many people would be interested in. As it turned out, the video has been shared on a, a website, a forum for men who enjoy ladies with long hair and men who enjoy watching ladies wash their hair. Which is, I have to say, I found a little odd, but um, it's flattering, I'm quite flattered, to be honest. What else has been flattering? Uh, people's comments towards me have been flattering. A lot of people have been kind enough to say that they like my accent, um, which is nice. Um, I like my accent. Obviously, I don't hear my voice the way that you hear my voice, but um, I've, I've always thought I, I speak quite nicely. Um, and having people tell you that you have beautiful hair is, is lovely, and having people ask me for my advice has... that's been really nice, because um, I'm nothing special, I certainly I wouldn't call myself a guru, goodness no, because I've still got so much to learn. Um, but when someone asks me for my help, um, it just gives me a nice little warm feeling inside. Um, and uh, I, I really enjoyed that aspect of YouTube. I enjoy how we can interact with each other. I've made some fantastic friends here. Um, and I feel that I formed uh, a sort of network, um, especially with Siobhan, Lord Donny Vita 33, and um, Lurch's Cat, who did a shout out video to me uh, around Christmas. Um, and it's, it's wonderful to connect with people who feel the same way that you do and um, don't think you're weird for, for wanting to keep your hair long and do interesting and unusual styles with it. I think that's all I have to say for this evening. 
Um, this is the first of several videos that will be going up over the course of this week um, to my, my one year anniversary. There will be a, um, a hair inspirations video, the sort of uh, people and uh, characters who inspired me to grow my hair long. And um, there will be a, a montage video of uh, my hairstyles. And at the end of the week there will be a 365 random facts video which I hope you will find interesting and entertaining. Um, please feel free to contact me if there's anything you'd like to say, if you've got any requests. Um, I am always happy to hear from you and I would like to say thank you so much for supporting me through this first year and for making me feel so welcome on YouTube and making me feel like I am positively influencing other people. So uh, I raise my glass to all of you and on that note I will wish you a very good night.